I'm finally back at Disney California Adventure to have some fun and of course ride all the fantastic rides. Yeah. Some of you and I dive right in. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. It's gonna be a great day at Disney California Adventure. I can't wait to go on all the rides. I miss the rides so much. Now that the park is fully open, let's just go have some fun. All right, we're working our way down the parade corridor. We're gonna to head towards Pixar Pier. I think our first attraction at California Adventure is gonna be the Incredicoaster. Oh yeah, the fact that we're walking back up here and not at a food festival, <laughs> the fact that we could go on the rides, this is just makes this even better. Yeah, you always gotta keep the pier looking beautiful so we can just keep swimming. Oh yeah, here we go. Incredible. It's nice to see you again. Yes. Yes. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah. The Incredicoaster was so much fun. But next, I think we're going to head over to Goofy's Sky School. Maybe we'll do Toy Story Mania a little bit later. Oh, look, there's Mr. Potato Head. Oh, his eyes look a little dark today. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they fix him. He might be a little tired today. Oh yeah. Look at this. It's the rootinest, tootinest cowboy in the Wild West. Oh yeah. It's Woody. The, the king of Pixar Pier. I mean, come on, let's get real here. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he doesn't know. That, that Sheriff badge is shining bright. I see it from here. It, it is, oh yeah. And just a heads up, Bayside Brews is not available and neither is Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta. And fun fact, this was my home location when I first started working at the Disneyland Resort. Hired in here late 2011, early 2012. This was it. This was where it all started at Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta. I was a cashier and then they eventually trained me at other locations around the pier and then a few years later I went over to Disneyland and worked Main Street with uh, Courtney and Becky. Oh look at this Lilo's over here. How I haven't seen Lilo in the park in a very long time. Yeah. Is Stitch surfing right now? Is that where he's at? Is he already surfing some waves? Yeah, I figured. Yeah. I figured. Yeah. All right, next up is Goofy Sky School. This is another classic. For those that don't remember, this used to be called Mulholland Madness. Does anybody remember that? Go ahead and comment down below if you do. It used to be orange, but uh, Goofy, Goofy took over. Oh, here we go. How to fly, lesson two. Oh! Oh, boy. How to turn. Oh! Oh! We can do this, we can do this. Oh! Oh, 
All right, next up, the most intense ride in the park, Emotional Whirlwind. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. Whoa. Whoa. We're not being obnoxious YouTubers at all. Yeah. I gotta say, that was the most intense ride I've ever been on. Not really, but we're gonna say it's the most intense ride ever. All right, now we're making our way through Grizzly Peak, one of my favorite areas of the park. It's just so gorgeous over here. Grizzly River Run is unfortunately not running today, but it is opening up soon. We're gonna try to check out the uh, walking path back here. There's a little trail tucked away in the corner. I really love that trail, so we're gonna do that next. Oh yeah, this is a really peaceful area of the park. Yeah, I just love walking back here. You got some beautiful views of Grizzly River Run and of course just the, the scenery around at the Eureka mine shaft over here. I wonder if there's any gold in there. You always gotta watch out for the rocks though. Watch out for the rocks. It's one of those opening day lands that I always knew as time went on, the trees would continue to grow and make the place more lush and beautiful. And it's just done that. I mean, 20 years later, this place is looking better than ever. A grizzly peak continues to just put a smile on my face. I just, I find it so relaxing and just listening to the water and they have all the sound effects going. It's, it's perfect. Hello, Chip. It's nice to see you. Yeah, you're kind of in your natural habitat today. Yeah, I mean, you love being amongst the trees. It's a beautiful place in the park. I don't blame you. And next up for us, we're going to enjoy a nice little lunch at Carthay Circle. We're still doing the outdoor dining. They're not doing any dining upstairs, I don't think. So we'll have to wait later on. Maybe a couple months they'll open that back up. But yep, let's, uh, let's head outside and enjoy the beautiful weather and some uh, great food. Are we, gonna, are we ready to get our drink on, our food on? Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the shrimp rolls and maybe a martini. Yep, Spencer's already got his pinky Practicing. out. Warming up. Oh yeah, warming you up. You mean you haven't started yet? No, we haven't, we haven't started over there. Here. No, we. Oh, really? Yeah. Dang, we have to we have to catch up to Charlie. Yep. There yeah. you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Already drinks have arrived. We got the. Uh, it looks like a martini, but it's actually a tequila drink. Yes. It's a. What is it called again? Tequila Daisy, but I got it without egg whites. <laughs> okay, without the egg whites. So that's good. Yeah, this drink does come with the egg whites, so uh, you can actually opt out to that, and that's what it's going to look like. And then I just got the classic martini with the ice ball in there. You can kind of see it right there. And the food has arrived. Look at how beautiful it looks. We got the shrimp rolls. We got two orders of that. We have the ceviche. Look at how gorgeous that is. And the meatballs. What were they? What did she say? The meatballs were again? They were like, they weren't just regular meatballs. Something, chicken meatballs. something specialty. Something cool. Something something Disney magic meatballs. <laughs> Moroccan roasted chicken meatballs with pomegranate relish and tzatziki. Wow. Well, that was a good meal at Carthay Circle. I always love Carthay Circle. It's so good. The drinks are fabulous. The food is amazing. But on to the next adventure. We're going to continue to explore here in Hollywoodland. Maybe head over to Cars Land here in a few minutes because you know we have to do Radiator Springs Racers. Oh, look at how cool they have an all new photo op for Captain America. I can't wait for Avengers Campus. Are you guys excited? Go ahead and let me know. Comment down below. I, I'm actually really excited for the all new Spider Man attraction, and I hope sometime down the line that they do the other attraction, that rumored e ticket attraction that's supposed to be an Avengers Campus. I, ho I hope that that becomes a reality and it's not just shelved forever because. That would be pretty cool if they can kind of get that get that ball rolling again. Now this stroller isn't a part of Avengers Campus. I mean, it looks great, but we're gonna step aside from the stroller here. Like they've installed this kind of like wall kind of thing going on here. And it, what's cool is it gives a sense of boundary between Hollywood Land and Avengers Campus. This is really neat. And it goes on this side too. If you kind of walk over here, you can see that they've also installed this section a little bit out. So yeah, it looks kind of neat. Now we also got some up lights here on the ground. Those look nice. Those will look really nice at night. Some more up lights over here. I believe this is the finished product. Again, not the stroller. It's just temporary. But uh, yeah, this is, yeah, Carter's just, uh, yeah, it's it's there permanently. You can't move it. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, this looks nice. This looks nice. I'm glad that they kind of gave a sense of boundary to Avengers Campus instead of, uh, you know, just kind of this weird transition from Hollywood land. 
to Avengers Campus because remember Guardians of the Galaxy is part of Avengers Campus. And you can see that they finished the groundwork so all the paving stones are in and they've also installed this cool like drippage going on. I don't know what this is from but this is this is neat. Look at that. It's kind of like what we'd see at Pandora back at Walt Disney World. Yeah look they've even dressed out the uh, backstage door here before this was just kind of plain Jane but now they've added some texture to it which is nice and they've also added that textured brick on the side with that china hat lamp. And you can see over the construction fence there a little little peek at Pim's test kitchen that's where all the giant sized food is going to be. We've got another china hat light over there. Yeah you know I can't wait to see the inside of Avengers Campus. We're getting really close. This is going to be opening up June 4th. Yes, Radiator Springs Racers, so excited. It's been a hot minute since I've done this one. Because even before the park closed, it was a while since I went on it. So I'm really excited. Yeah, do this one as soon as possible when you come to the park because this is one of the more popular attractions. So yeah, definitely get this one done on the checklist. That was so much fun on Radiator Springs Racers. I love that attraction. It just reminds me of Test Track back at Epcot because it's the same system. It's the same ride concept. So much fun, this outdoor portion. It's so unique because it's indoors, outdoors. It's like a dark ride and you got the outdoor race here with another competitor. It's really fun. Next time you are going down. Oh, dude. oh, down. oh. Next up for us is Tow Mater's Junkyard Jamboree. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah, this is definitely more aggressive this, than Aliens. Oh my oh. Okay, that was, a Mater's never ceases to amaze me. It's so much fun. And you know what? Yeah, it's way more aggressive than Aliens in uh, Florida, Hollywood Studios. Yeah, it like, it like bashes you around. Mater's is no joke. Look at how beautiful that is. Those cotton candy skies. Goodbye, California Adventure. See you very soon. And I'm really excited because soon Avengers Campus is gonna be opening up and I cannot wait to experience that. It's a good day today. It's a beautiful day at Disney California Adventure. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love Disney content and all the other theme park content, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay up to date on every time I post new videos. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description as well as a huge shout out to my Buy Me A Coffee supporters. You guys are absolutely amazing. It was a beautiful day here at Disney California Adventure. It was so nice to be back and ride all the rides again, especially Guardians of the Galaxy right behind me. I mean, come on, so much fun. It was a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But other than that, hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the park. Bye.